Hey everybody, welcome back to Brass. Let's keep on industrializing. Okay, so uh, first of all, I don't know how I did it, but I ended up actually having too, too many cards here when I was laying my cards out. So I just picked two randomly and put them back in the stack. Don't know what happened there. Sorry about that, but let's continue. Now, I was thinking before the break that I would really start trying to get this super shipyard built, but I don't think so in all honesty because that's hard, it's gonna take a lot of money and I haven't really solidified my income that well. So I think I'm just gonna continue trying to get some more cotton income first. And now, but remember at the beginning of the turn we do get income, I get four, because I'm up here, and Jen lost three, which I also took away. So, off we go. If I'm gonna to wanna to keep on trying to increase the quality of my cotton, I think one thing, I want to actually produce better cotton than these level ones. I want to get to level twos. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a development. Which means I'm going to give up the, hmm, let's see. Yeah, let's say the Colm card. Because that's, again, that's way up there. I'm not going to be big enough there anytime soon. I'm going to do that to do a development. And I am going to toss away the top two cottons so that I get into the level twos that much faster. So that's just removed from the game. And remember, I need two iron for that. Remember when Jen did being in the game, she had to buy from the foreign market. I don't have to buy from the foreign market. I can just take this iron directly from Jen. And iron, apparently, when I take this, it's so minor, it, it, it's, it's such an inconsequential cost. It didn't cost me anything to take this. And remember, iron can effectively teleport wherever you need it to go. So it doesn't matter where it is on the board, I can just go ahead and grab it. So I've grabbed it, and I've used that to increase my cotton tech. And now Jen is so happy because she's found all the customers she needs, so she gets to flip this now, which means she gets to move her marker back up three, and she's got five points. So one, two, three, she is no longer losing money. You're, thank you're welcome, honey. Now, but you know, I got, I got something out of it too. For free, I got to upgrade to level twos. And although unfortunately level twos require a, a coal, but I could use Jen's coal. I don't have to bother making my own coal mine if I just want to go and do it. Although remember, I can still build my old coal mine over here and get it around. So for my second action, hmm, let's see. Do I want to build a coal mine? Let's see, that would cost me five. I'd build it over here. And then it could still reach up to, you know, you know the, if I put a, well, it reached the Bolton because there's canals all the way. And then one more and it could reach the Bury too. And I can build in Bolton right now because I've got the Bolton card. I don't have my network reaching there because even though this is mine, this is Jen's canal. So my network does not reach the Bolton, but I can build in Bolton with the Bolton card. So I could build a cotton mill up there, a level two cotton mill. And so the question is, before I do that, do I want to bother building my own coal mine so I produce my own coal or should I just use Jen's? I built my own coal mine, it's worth, a, well it's only worth a point, but it's so cheap. But I've only got five bucks, and if I'm gonna build another cotton mill, I'm gonna have to take a loan, because they cost, now that they're level two, they cost 14 bucks. And I, you know, it's gonna take me a while at four bucks a day before I can pay for that, so I, I think I'm gonna have to take a loan. Here's the tricky thing though, it's better to take loans at the beginning of the game because you just go down one, two, three, like you saw Jen do. What really happens is you don't go down one, you go down one band. And so you see how there's all these different colors. So when Jen went down one, two, three, she was going down one, two, three bands. If I were to take a, a loan for say 20, which means I have to go down two, I just don't go down one, two, I go down one, two, because I have to jump between all the bands because I've actually made some, so the higher up you get, the worse it is to take a loan because you have to really drop far. So that's a bad thing. But I think I am gonna have to take a loan to be able to get this out. And I don't know if I want to take a, a double loan, because I'll have to jump all the way down here. If I take a single loan, it's not that much of a drop. I mean, I'll only go for, I'll lose $1, so I'll go from earning four a day to three a day, but I don't want to go down to earning two a day. So, I think, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take a loan then. So, uh, so the next turn, now that I've got my enhanced farm, or my cotton, I could build a cotton, and then I could ship more cotton and increase my income even more. Or heck, maybe I'll, if I take, if I take two loans, would I have enough to actually build, but then I'd also need a, uh, what do you call it? A canal. So it'd be 14 plus 14, 28 plus the canal is 31. I'd need thir 31 minus five. So I need 26. So that'd be, I'd go down one, two, three. I come all the way back down here. 
but I'd get two of these things out. And when I shipped them, they would increase me by eight. So I'd come down one, two, three, four, five, six. But I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, but uh, so I wouldn't increase much, in, and but I'd be I'd, I would have made ten points over those subsequent turns. Those are the kind of decisions one must make. I don't think I want to stretch myself that far, but I think I am going to take a loan, which means I have to drop down one. It's just going to be a ten dollar loan, so I can make one more cotton. And what am I going to give up? Well, I guess I won't give up a cotton thing. And Lancaster, that's way up north too. I uh, forget about way up north. I'm down south. All right, so that's what I did. I improved my cotton making and I got a loan so I can make one of those nice new cotton things tomorrow. All right, and now it's Jen's turn. What's she going to do? Remember, she was thinking she was going to become the queen of coal and she took a lot of money to do it. And now, thanks to me, she's not going to be losing any more money because she used up her iron. So, what does she want to do? She's got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 bucks. Actually, with all that money, maybe she, before time is up, maybe she should get herself a, a some, some income off cotton too. No, no, no. In for a penny, in for a pound. She's going coal. Coal or bust, says Jen. Let's see now. And now she can't, where, where can she build? She can build in Wigan, because she's got a Wigan cart, so she can put a coal right there. Uh, she's already put one, she can't build in Bolton. She can't build in Brewery, she doesn't, there's no canal and she doesn't have a cart anyway, but she could build another coal in Wigan. So she's gonna build, or does she wanna upgrade her coal ability? Let's see, she's at level twos. If she were to upgrade, she'd skip level twos and go straight to level threes. But she'd have to buy some iron from the market because I've used up all her iron. But then that would be iron she could put back in the market later when she builds another iron thing. So it's not like it's bad to put that market, that, that, that iron in there. So that's not bad. Let's see. And she's got plenty of money. Yeah, why the heck not? First thing she's going to do, she's going to increase her coal making for, uh, prodigiously. So, or is it, okay, she'll, so she's going to increase this one. So that's one. She needs one iron. That costs her two bucks. Let's break this. Just a five. Yep. All right, so that cost her two bucks for the first iron. Wait, a what did I do? I took a loan and I improved. Yeah, all right, so I didn't spend any money. So that's two iron to do that first improvement. And now, does she want to do a second? She might as well. What the heck? So there's another iron, which again just, uh, whoa, goes almost off the table. And what is she going to improve now? Hmm. I mean, she's already at level three, so there's no reason to skip a hand. What else does she want to improve? Well, maybe she doesn't want to be making, when she eventually gets to cotton, she doesn't want to be making level one cottons. Maybe she wants to start working on being able to do boats. Ah, she's going to get rid of one of these level one cottons, because there's four of them, I think. One, two, three. No, there's three. So now she only has to get through two before she has level two cottons. Or maybe she, no, 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 no. Or does she want to, well, building ports, she'd have to get rid of two. Well, she could just get rid of another one. Yeah, what the heck. So she's that much closer to level fours. So she just dumped that. She is very good, and she's got three more coal mines she can make over the course of the game. Maybe that's a bit silly, but what the heck. We're having fun. And, um, right. Okay, so her first action was she spent four bucks and dug through. No, that's crazy. Don't increase the coal. Make it the... The... Cotton. Okay, so first thing was she increased, she did some development, and now for the second thing, I believe she is going, where is it? Where is it? Wigan. She plays her Wigan card. Oh, wait, no, she had to play a card for the first thing as well. So hold on a second, we're not building in Wigan yet. What does she want to build? She doesn't care about building a port right now, uh, but she might care later. Maybe she should hold on to that. Let's see, Blackburn. It's kind of in the middle. Bolton, she's already built in Bolton, so she can't build in Bolton again. She spent that, that's how she did her, her, her development. And now she's gonna play her Wigan card to build in Wigsville. Which, um, you know, she needed to use that because she didn't have her network, i.e. her canals reaching to Wigan. So in Wigan, she is going to build another, oh, what's it? This costs her eight bucks. She puts four coal on it. And she needs to give up eight bucks. So there we go, basically. And she needs another iron. Now she doesn't have any iron, 
So she'll have to buy more iron from the market, which is another three bucks, because iron's getting more expensive from the foreign market. And so she spent that, and now she has been able to build, and so she's got more coal. And like I said, she doesn't need the coal that much right now, but she's basically setting up for the second half of the game when coal is hugely important because you need coal to build rail lines, and which you know, is gigantic. All right, so those are her two actions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, okay, so now we draw back up to two, or eight again. And I draw. Boop, boop. Okay, and I clearly spent less because I didn't spend anything. And so I get to go first again, my income. I haven't actually taken the loan yet. Or No, I haven't taken the loan yet. I was just thinking about it. Oh, yes, I have. I did take the loan. So my income is three. One, two, three. Jen's income is zero. She's break even. And here I get to go. So for starters, I am going to build in Bolton. And remember, Bolton, I have to use a Bolton card because it's not my canal, so it's not my network. So I'm using Bolton to build a level two cotton mill in Bolton. And that cost me 14 bucks. One, two, three, four. So I'm probably gonna have spent the most money today, that's for sure. And I needed a coal. Now, I can't go to the foreign market because you always have to buy from Lancashire if you can. So I am getting one of Jen's coals. It comes along her canal. And she is that much closer to getting income off of this coal. Okie doke. Um, I think I think you always have to choose the shortest one, if I recall correctly. So I couldn't have taken this one. So she's going to get income off this pretty quick. But still, I'm benefiting too because when I get, flip this, I'm going to get five points and four increase on my. You know, I dropped two, but I'm going to gain four. So one, two, three, four. Oh, but it won't cross the line into the six. One, two, three, four. Ah, shoot! Right, because it was down to one, two, three, four. Arg. Anyway, that was my first action. I've got three bucks left. With my three bucks, well, I could afford to build another canal, or I could save it and try to do something else. Let's see. This next turn, if I just say, if I do nothing next turn, I am going to get three more bucks. So I'll have six bucks. See, now, what I'd like to do is save up enough to be able to do two of these, because if I do two, then I can, you know, in two, in one action, I can ship twice and score that much more. But now there's no time. I mean, I'm just going to go. All right, so what's my second action going to be? Do I want to save up or do I want to make another canal? Where would I make a canal to? What am I going to build in the future? See, I do want to build over to Liverpool. Oh, if I build up to Liverpool and make another port, which is five, but that would take a bit more because I... I'd have to give up my three to make this, and next time I'm only gonna get three, so it would take two turns before I would have the five to be able to go to Liverpool. But if I li Liverpool, when I flip, oh, and I need six, I actually need six, not five. So I need nine to be able to build a port here and a canal so that I could ship this, not here, but over into my own port. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right. You know what, um, I guess actually there's no reason to wait. For my second action, yeah, I'm not going to build up. I'm just going to go ahead and ship this cotton right now. My first action was to build the cotton plant. My second action is to ship it. And I think I will, to, for my second action, I'll just go on ahead and use a cotton plant because I'm not going to be building any more of those for a while. So I'm shipping it. It comes all the way down here to Warrington. Now remember, I've previously activated my Warrington dock. So I'm not selling it to my Warrington dock. Instead, I'm selling it to the foreign market. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so I flip this. I get to increase one, two, three, four, because, you know, and, and score five points. So I've increased my income. And now, because I'm not selling it to Warrington, I'm selling it to the foreign market, we have to find out how does the foreign market feel. I flip the top thing, I'm hoping for a zero or a negative one. That's what I'm hoping for. And I get a negative two. All right, well, wasn't a negative three. I think there's even a negative four in there. So that wasn't too bad. One, two, that unfortunately means we cross the line and instead of increasing three more, I increase two more. So one, two. And if I, if it just been a, you know, I could have gotten to seven bucks a day, but I'm at six bucks a day. Uh, thanks to shipping to the foreign market and the demand for cotton has dropped now. Okay. So that was that. Those are my two actions. And I said, and now it's Jen's two actions. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, she has. Okay, what is she gonna do? Well, she's still got plenty of money from her loan. She's still got 20 bucks. So, I think what she'd like to do is build 
another iron factory that will eat up her... Um, but, oh, but, but the coal would have to come from the nearest one, so it would come from here, so it wouldn't come from there. So building an iron, how is she gonna, who's gonna take that last coal to actually get this to flip? Hmm, that's tricky. If I build one of my level two cottons over here, I would need it, but I, I think I'm done with building cotton for a while. So Jen's got a quandary. How is she gonna, what is she gonna need that coal? It's a shame she can't build this here because you know it would just take it right away. I'm pretty sure she has to take the shortest route one. Let me double check that. Um, to the manual, okay. Building industry, playing the right card, matching a symbol, moving coal. If the industry counter, which has a black cube marked on you, must be able to move a coal. There are two sources of coal, the demand track and coal mines. So I say cube coal and like sure, sure, sure. If there are no cubes, you can legally take lunch. You can take it from the demand. These are two reasons. I mean, you, you may not be getting or no coal on this. If you can take coal from Lancashire, you must take it from the closest source. Yep, that's what I thought. So, the only way this coal is ever going to be taken is if Jen builds something in brewery that needs coal, which means it would have to be a level two cotton, which she's a ways off from getting. And, or, something here because then let's see and she hasn't built here so she could build well again either way it's going to be that she has to build a she has to build jen has a new plan she needs to you know um, develop some more so she can build a level two cotton and use this last coal so she can get income off of this so where is she going to build that level two cotton in brewery or warrington unfortunately she doesn't have cards for either which means she would have to build a canal to get there unfortunately that's bad bit of luck. Now she might draw a card that would do it later, but she doesn't have it now. So, um, I guess, see so I'm thinking where, well actually that's the interesting thing, she can't build a canal to Warrington. So the only way she'd ever be able to build it in Warrington since both of my canals surround it is if she gets, oops sorry, she gets a Warrington card. And that's just dumb luck of the draw, who knows if that'll happen. So I think that means she has to assume she's gonna build in Brewery. So she might as well finish her turn. Oh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, she hasn't done anything yet. So I think she's gonna do two things this turn. She, well she's got to build a canal to Brewery. So um, one, it's going to cost her three, so she gets two and change and puts one, two, three up on the spent board, which means she's first next turn. And the interesting thing, too, now that she's done this, I can't extend into brewery and for, for brewery, and for me to build there, I have to have the brewery card, which I don't have. So I can't get anything in there either because Jen's got all the canals. So that was her first of two actions. Her second of two actions, I think, is going to be, oh, Let's see, she, has, she still wants to build her other iron thing too. So she can start gobbling up this coal. And, because the nice thing is when she builds the iron, three of the four will automatically get sucked up by the market. Ah, let's see. So if she were to improve two more times to the point, that means the market would get even more empty, but that's gonna cost her three, that's gonna cost her seven. So that would leave her with 10, and she would probably have to take more loans Right. Um, wow. Okay. But how much is that ink? And it's only a two. Yikes. So she'd be stretching herself way thin. Way thin. So should she do at that? Or should she just bide her time and try to get... <sighs> nah. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure if this is smart. I'm not, I don't know if I'm really necessarily playing that smart, but okay. She can build in Preston for her other action. She is, no, no, no. If she builds this right now, it'll, it'll generate five cubes and only three of them will go into the market. So I think her other action is she is going to spend seven to buy these last two coal that will let her increase to level two of her building cotton mills. And so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? One, two. Right, and what card did she use for that? Right, right, right. What card did she use for that? That's her first action. 
Let's see, she needs the cotton mill because she's going to build a cotton mill. Oh, she has even, yeah. Right, Preston is how she was going to build in Preston. Does uh, she care about a port? I don't know if she really cares about building a port right now. So she's going to dump that. Okay, so that was getting smarter. So now the market is almost, there's a huge demand for iron in the market. And so now is the time when she will play her Preston card to build. <gasps> oh, oh shoot. But she can't. I was going to say, build a player press card to build in Preston. And, but she needs to get a coal. And coal cannot get to Preston because she needs to build a what's it here first. So for her second action, she's not going to build in Preston right yet. She is going to do Blackburn? Yeah, Blackburn. To build, to spend three more bucks. She gets two and change. And one, two, three goes up here to build another canal to Preston. And then next turn, she will be able to build in Preston, get a ton of money back for all the iron she made, and then she'll be able to use that to build over here, which will gobble up this, and so on. Okie doke. Right. Yikes. Alrighty, so that was her two actions. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I've done six. All right, so we're at the end of the turn. Once again, we have to determine, I think, even though Jen spent a lot, I spent more. Five, 10, 13, and I spent, yep, I spent more. So Jen is first next turn. Okay, and the income for next turn, I get six bucks, hooray. And Jen gets nothing, but she is first. Oh, we have to draw back up, of course. One, two, getting close to the end of this deck. But the, but the era of canals won't be over until we've played every single card. Okay, so Jen's turn. First thing, playing her Preston to build her level, or her level three ironworks in Preston. That costs her nine bucks, which she doesn't have. She does not have nine bucks. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> so, hold on a second. She could take another loan. What the heck, why not? Her first action will be to take a loan. Just a little one, just 10 bucks. That's all she's taken. So she's only going down one on the mark. And what card's she gonna give up? Well, she can't build in Manchester, so she's dumping that card. That's how she took the loan. She dropped down one, one color, not just one space. And now, her second action, finally, Preston. And she is building this, which costs her nine bucks quid and one. So here is the nine, oops, arg. All right, so she spent nine. and one coal to put this up here. And now she gets five, but they immediately go right back into the foreign market. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and she gets 14 bucks back. Okay, and so now she's got enough on the next turn to build the highfalutin cotton she needs to gobble up this last coal. All right, so those are her two actions. Now my turn. Mine's a little bit less complicated because I'm just Johnny Brokesville. And what was I trying to do? Let's see. I've got, let's see, I'm making six a turn now. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next turn, I will have enough, I'll have 15. I'll have enough to build another, an, another farm, but in for, or a cotton farm. But unfortunately, I cannot p build it here because I don't have brewery and Jen's taking all these spots. How, let's see, where could I build it? I've got Liverpool and Preston. I could build in Preston. So I think tomorrow, next turn, I'm gonna wanna use Preston and build another cotton up here. But that means I gotta save up my money for it. And the nice thing is, since I'm playing the card, I can go straight here. I don't have to worry about, because Jen's just built. How nice of that. Jen has built the last canal I need that'll come all the way down here so I can ship overseas. Nice. Now on the flip side, I know, but now shipping overseas is gonna get less and less profitable. It would be nice for me to get another, another dock out and ship to there because then that's a guaranteed three, which is better than I'll get off of the foreign market now. But that would cost me six to build. And I, I could build it in Liverpool. I've got a Liverpool card. So that would cost me six, which would leave me three. 
and then tomorrow I'd get six, so I'd be at nine. So no, no, I can't spend anything. I gotta save my money, so the next turn, because this is gonna cost me 14 more. So, I'm gonna get, let's see, what I got, six. So that'll be 12, 13, 14, 15. Actually, I can't spend any money at all, or else I won't be able to do this tomorrow. So, or no, I can afford to spend one dollar. And there's nothing I can spend for one dollar. So, if I want to be able to build my cotton tomorrow, I have to do nothing, and that's an option. I can always just skip two turns, and I can just discard two cards and do nothing, which really, really sucks. But I don't want to take another loan. I don't want to have to, well, I could take another loan. I would drop from six to five. But when I succeed at this, well, okay, let's think about that. If I take another loan, I'm gonna drop from six to five. That sucks. But I'll have another 10. That would be enough to build this, which is going to be three, which is going to give me a better return because, you know, chances are this might drop down to one. So I'd only increase one, whereas if I have this, I would increase by three and I'd score victory points. So as crazy as it is, I think I'm going to take another loan. Which is crazy. Crazy for feeling so lonely. Okay, so, right, I'm going to take a loan. What am I going to give up for this loan? I'm gonna give up a coal, because obviously, it's obvious to me now, Jen's kind of going after coal. She's producing coal. I don't need to worry about producing coal. I can always leech off of her. So I'm giving up a coal card to take this loan. Boop, boop, it's a single loan, so I get 10 bucks, and I drop one thing. That was my first action. And my second action, I'll use my Liverpool card to build directly in Liverpool. And originally, I would planned to build a shipyard there, but I'm gonna build a port for six pounds. Um, there we go, six pounds. That was my second action. Now, I can't ship there. I'm still going to need to do a canal, but next turn, I think I'll have enough to do a canal and build, which means on the following turn, I'll get my... Okay, all right. So that was mine. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're done. Who spent the most money? Jen did. I'm first next turn, which is good. Because actually, I'm a little bit worried. Because Jen, if she's quick, she could um, ship at my port before I do. Although actually that wouldn't be bad. I guess I wouldn't mind that because either way I'll get the, the, uh, I'll get the increase to my income. So it's the same diff either way. So, all right, so, I, anyway, so I'm first now. And I get an income of five, which is, so I've got 15, which is, which is enough. All right, so I'm gonna do two actions today. Oh wait, I had to draw. One, two for me, one, two for Jen. And Jen, my income, I took it, but Jen, she loses one more because of her lone crazy ways. Okay, and a Blackburn and a Manchester, and I don't even know what Jen got. Oh, a Liverpool and a mining. Okay, so this turn, I'm going to spend three bucks to build another canal between Wigan and Liverpool. And see, this is the danger. Or no, no, it's not. Okay, and then for the other, I'm going to spend 14 bucks which means I get one and change, ouch, to build in Preston, this is my second card, the Preston card, to build in the only spot I could, right there. See, it could have been a port or cotton. All right, and I got one buck left over. So that was my two actions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I only used one card. I used my Preston card to build, what did I use for the canal? I've already built in Manchester, so I don't need another Manchester card. It's gone. That's what I used. Okay. Um, uh, alrighty. So, that was my turn. Now it's Jen's turn. And I've already forgotten what it was she was thinking about. Okay, yes. Oh, that's right. She wanted to build up here. So, right. And that was everything she's been doing up to this point. So, yes, that's exactly what she's going to do. Oh, right. And I forgot. I paid my 14 bucks, but I didn't pay my coal, which came from Jen's place. So, again, I'm helping her get to the point where she realizes the income from that. Yikes. Okay, Jen's turn. She is gonna build her first cotton mill. It costs her $14 and a coal. It goes in brewery. So there's the last coal, and here's 14 bucks. Um, uh, gotta break the change again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. She keeps one, because she paid 14. Okay. And she put it down there. She okay. She's paid the 14. She's paid the coal. Now this has flipped. Oops. Excuse me. Dummy card. This is flipped. 
So she has now increases her income for the first time, a significant one, by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now she does not want to be taking loans anymore. Also earn two points. And this is out, out here now. Now that was her first action. Oh, her second action, she could ship that now. I guess you might as well. All right, what was her first action? What card did she use? All righty. So she could ship to the foreign market or she could ship on my port. There's no reason for her to ship in my port because that would benefit me because I, I would get this extra money because she activated, but I get it. So she's not gonna sell it to my port. She's gonna sell it to the foreign market. Okay, so, which means it just has to come from brewery through Manchester to Warrington and then it goes through my port, but I don't benefit from it because it's going on to the foreign market. So she is going to, for her, or, or, right, she has to give up two cards. What are the two cards she's given up? One she doesn't care about, one she doesn't care about. I still don't think she's ever gonna build a port, at least not yet. She's happy enough just to make use of the ports that I've been building. And so, and that was her first card and her second card, Fleetwood, where's Fleetwood? Oh, Fleetwood, she's not too far from Fleetwood. But the only thing you can build in Fleetwood is a port, so she doesn't care about it. Okay, because you can see Fleetwood up there. She's decided she's not gonna be building ports anytime soon. So her first action was, she built this with whatever card I used, and her second action was, she is shipping. So she flips this, which means she increases her income by four more. One, two, three, four, and she's tied with me now, and she's got five victory points to her name, and it's coming to the foreign market, so she gets to get some more income based on the, however much the foreign market wants. Negative three, ouch. That's not good. One, two, three. But, you know, it didn't fall down to zero, at least she still gets one more. So she increases one more. She now makes six bucks a turn. All right, pretty good turn for her. Those were her two actions, one, two, three, four, five, six. And those are my two actions. We're gonna do the turn, as always. Dun, dun, dun. The cards are gone. These, by the way, were two cards randomly that were taken out of the deck at the beginning of the game. So, we don't get any more cards from now on. Now, we just got a few more turns where we're gonna go through our last few, and then we're gonna be on to the Age of Rail. Are you excited? Can you feel it? Oh, how exciting. Um, also, by the way, if we were in the Age of Rail, once these all disappear, you're, when you're getting to the final legs and you can't do anything else, you cannot take any more loans. Although by that point, you're up so high, you don't want to be taking loans because you're losing, you know, you know. Um, but anyway, okay, 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 okay. Oh, right, right, it was almost on us. So that was the end of it. We don't draw any more cards. Who spent the most money? I think I did. Yep, I definitely did. So Jen gets to go first on the next turn. We don't draw any cards. And what's she gonna do? I haven't thought this far ahead. Let's see. She's making, oh, so first of all, she makes six bucks. I make five bucks, okay, and so she's, she's doing fine on money, and what's she gonna do? She's got basically one, two, three turns before the end of canals. Now I think she wants, like I said, she wants to get some more coal out there in the world, because we're gonna need coal really bad. And so far I've shown no interest in coal, so she knows she benefits from me because I keep siphoning off her coal. So if she were, wants it, so she's got two coals she can build if she's got the network, now, where could she build coal if she wanted to? She's already in Wigan. She's already built here, here, here. She hasn't built, oh, she could build in Warrington. She could build right there, although she needs a Warrington card because she doesn't have a network there, and she doesn't. She's got two Liverpools. Can't build coal in Liverpool. So that means she's gonna have to build a canal either, well, actually, I don't know, have to build a canal up here to Blackburn. So the first thing she's gonna do is build a canal and I think she'll use one of these because she uh, doesn't want to spend a ton of money to build another cotton place. So she's gonna pay three bucks to build a canal to Blackburn. And now she's got 10 bucks left. Is that enough to build? Yep, it is. All right, so she's gonna build this mine and it costs her eight bucks and it needs an iron. She has, oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. She needs iron. And her iron things, are, so she'll have to buy iron from the foreign market now. All right, well, she'll do it. Or will she? Yes, she will. She can just barely make it. This costs her eight bucks and one iron. Iron costs two. She has 10. She has to spend all 10 right now to build this in Blackburn. And she has to discard a card for that. Um, I don't know. I guess this, because she has no way she can afford now. Okay, so she built that, and this was the iron she used to do it. And so... The iron came from the foreign market, that was fine, and she puts four coal on here. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
Those are her two actions. Now it's my two actions. Almost the end now. Okay, now one of them is going to be... Oh, wait, oh, 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 oh. I totally forgot. This flipped. When she did this, it immediately flipped. She had two more. Shoot, she had more income last turn. Gosh darn it. Let's see. Let's try and figure this out. What'd she just do? She just increased. She just did both of these last turn. So that was five. That was seven. Two, three, four, five. All right. All right. So actually, she just had two more. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So she had already increased two more on the previous turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think that means she had actually had one more dollar from having flipped that. So that was my mistake. Oopsie do. All right, so she's actually even ha has even more income now. All right, so my first thing is I'm gonna flip this and deliver to my own port. So that means, you know, via this network, that's gonna four and three, so I go up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I'm making nine bucks every day. Things are starting to turn around. And that's seven points I made. All right, and I had to give up a card to do that delivery. Interesting, now that Jen's built a canal to Blackburn, Blackburn is interesting to me building. So I'm going to hold on to this. Maybe I want to build in Blackburn. What do I want to give up? I'm going to make nine bucks next turn, which means I'd have enough to actually get another cotton farm out, or a cotton mill out. Or maybe before the year is over, maybe I want to get some, co some coal out as well. But here's my problem. I'm still building level ones. I've never upgraded like Jen. If I build a coal out, at the end of the era of canals, Every level one that's on the board disappears. It's gone. So if I build this, any coal on it will disappear. So there is no reason for me, unless I want to spend some time digging through this. Or no, actually, I just need to do one, and I get some coal for next turn. So yeah, maybe, let's see. Well, okay, first of all, I did the one thing. I just have to pick a card for that. So maybe for my second thing, I would want to, um, I'd have to pay two bucks to get some iron to improve my coal, and then the next turn I could actually build some coal in Blackburn, so I have a coal generator in the second year as well, so I don't have to entirely rely on Jen. That might be nice, because then I could like start building up here, and I could take my coal to build in that direction. So that's not bad. In fact, what the hell, I've convinced myself, that sounds pretty good. Let's make sure that happens. So I'm gonna hold on to this coal. No, I'm gonna hold on to Blackburn. I'm gonna use that to build the coal in Blackburn. Uh, because I have to, because it's Jen's network that came up here, not my canal. So I need the Blackburn. So I'm going to build in Blackburn. I'm going to build some coal. Which means that's the only coal I'm going to build. So um, for the first thing, I'm going to give up this coal card. That's how I flip this. Yes. And that's what increased me up here. So that was my first action. I shipped my cotton, flipped both of these, increased this, and I did it with a coal card. Now for my second action, for my second trick of the day, I will build in... No. I need to improve before I build, so I need to give up a card to do an improvement, which means I'm gonna have to spend two bucks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna have to spend two bucks to buy this iron to do an improvement and get better at making coal. Alrighty, and what card did I do use for that for? I've already got ports, I'm, I'm, it, was, it was a port card, okay. So those are my two actions. All right, and we're down to four cards. Almost done, folks. And I'm left over with four bucks. Jen's left over with one buck, but we both make decent incomes now. So at the end of the turn, we draw back up, but we don't. So we determine who's first next turn. That would be me, because I only spent two bucks. And off I go. Oh, and I get my income. Nine bucks. Woohoo! Nice. And Jen's income of seven bucks. Also, not too shabby. Making less money than me but she is gonna clean up with all this coal next year or whatever. All right, so I get two actions. I know one of them is gonna be my Blackburn to build my own coal mine in Blackburn, right there. That cost me seven bucks and nothing else. It didn't need anything else. It's gonna put three coal on there. One, two, three. Okay, and seven bucks. Uh, all right, and I've got another action. Now, now, taking a loan isn't so bad because since I'm on this side, I'd only drop down one. It would only be one drop of income. And I'd have, let's see, but next turn, my last turn of this decade or whatever, I'm gonna get nine bucks. I would, before the year is out, I wouldn't mind build, well, actually, could I build one more farm? Or cotton mill? I'd need 14 bucks. I'm gonna get nine, so I'd have enough. But I'd also, on my last turn, I need to build a cotton mill and I'd need a canal if I'm going to build in Burnley. 
So that's going to be 14, 15, 16, 17. I need 17 bucks next turn. And at this point, I'm going to have 9, 10, I'm going to have 15. So yes, as crazy as it sounds, oh, well, I was going to say maybe I want to make a make my own iron plant, but there's no place I can build. I can't because in Blackburn I just did coal instead of iron, so I can't build a coal there. So that's that, or I can't build an iron there. And currently there's no place else because I can build iron. So I'm going to use this iron because I can't use it for anything else to get one last loan. It's only a single loan of ten, so I only drop down one. Not a big deal. Not too bad. I dropped down one band. And so I have enough now for my last turn. Jen's turn, what is she gonna do? Oh my gosh, uh, how can I keep track of all this things? She can build in Liverpool and she can build mines. Uh, let's see, oh, and she's got five, six, seven, eight bucks. And mines cost her 10 bucks to build at this point. And what's it, the uh, iron costs her 12. I think on her last turn she'd like to build another iron. Where could she do that? Nobody can build in Blackburn. Nobody can build an iron here in Manchester. Oh, wow. So the only, you no, know, neither of us are going to be able to build iron for the rest of the year because we can't build up here in Barrow because there's no canals up there. And we both build in the other two places. So there will be no more iron building in the era of what's its. Let's see. And now, let's see. So Jen has not built in Liverpool, which she could do. But the only thing she could, she could build a port. And unfortunately, it would be a level one port, so it wouldn't even do anything, so that's pointless. She could spend some time just upgrading some technology. <sighs> Can she get another mine out? She'd like to get a mine in Burnley. Oh, that'd be interesting too. If she gets a mine in Burnley, and then I'm trying to build a cotton farm here, I, I would have to take it from her mine. I wouldn't be able to take it from my own mine, so that would make me sad. So that makes sense for her to do that. But on the other hand, she's already got six, six. I know what she's gonna do. She's gonna surprise everybody. She's gonna toss this. She's gonna spend one, two, three at least to get an iron, because there's none on the board, to improve. She's gonna start practicing on building the ship. She has basically stated her intention of next year building the ship. All right, so that was one action. Now she isn't going to have enough, let's see, she's about to make seven, and that's five, um, so she'll have 12. Is that enough to build the ship? No, because she'd need to get another one down, and the ship is 16. So she can't actually start the ship this turn, unless she takes a loan. <sighs> is she going to take a loan? Again, if she takes a loan, it's only 10, she drops one. So her second thing is, she, this other coal, she's going to take a loan, getting 10 bucks. Okay, so she's at 15 bucks, and she only lost one income. Yikes, okay, end of the turn. Um, Jen spent less, she is first. No cards to draw, our income, I get eight bucks, Jen gets six bucks, here's her six, here's my eight, one, two, three. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And I'm, no, Jen's first, Jen's first. So, she's gonna build in Liverpool. Um, she doesn't have a network, but she has a net Liverpool card. And with remember, with the card, she can build anything she wants in Liverpool. She's going to start building the ship. No, she's not. She, well, nope, yep, she's about to. First, she's going to, sorry, she's going to spend this Liverpool to buy another cube. She could have done them both last turn. I just wasn't thinking. It's fine. It's the same either way. Cost her three more bucks. Three more bucks. And she's going to spend this other Liverpool. All right, and the, and the thing she got was obviously the other ship. She's going to spend that other Liverpool to build. Oh, can she do it? Oh, now it's four. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, I didn't count. She needs iron for this. Iron costs her four now. She is just shy. She's, okay. If she would have added all this up, she would have taken two loans. She took ten more, even though it dropped her quite a bit. So she has enough to build the ship. This was on the last turn. She took more than she thought she needed to originally. So here's the 15, 16 she's spending to build that ship. The iron comes from her own place uh, via my canal and the, the uh, I'm sorry, the coal does. And then the iron comes from the foreign market and she has built this. And whenever this gets built, it immediately flips. It increases her income by two. 
but she's just scored 10 points. One, two, and that's a big deal. She's gonna score this twice, and I'll show how that works in a second. All right, and so she's back up to six. She's not making as much money, but still, that was, a, that was well worth the loans because she got that, and she's, now there's only one other ship anywhere in the game that could be built, up here in Baro. And um, that'll be interesting. All right, if she wants to build another ship, you know, I mean, she could just build a regular one, but she could level up and, you know, build a level two ship, which you can only build in the second era for 25 bucks and score 18 points. So will she do that or will I get my first ship built up there or who knows what will happen next year. But anyway, so those are her two moves. Um, she had actually taken a bit more from the loan last year, fallen a bit more, gotten some iron. Okay, boom. That was it. My last turn. That was, so what am I going to do? Well, I'm certainly not going to go build a ship now. Ironically, because I could do it. I could now build this ship. I've got the money. I've got the network. I've got the shipbuilding card. Jen beat me to it because she went first. If I had gone first, I would have gotten it first. Oh, turn order is very important. All right, so. Right, well, back to the original plan. I'm going to use this and spend three bucks to build a canal up to Burnley, my original plan. And then I, my last one, I'm going to build another cotton mill which is gonna cost, oh, do I have enough? Yes, I do. Cotton mill is gonna cost me 14 to put it in here. And here's 15 I'm spending. Take one and change. Okay. And those are my two actions. I'd love to flip this if I could because I could certainly ship it into the overseas market, but I'm out of actions. That's it. We, the age of the canal is over. Okie doke, now I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to, I just don't wanna screw anything up on this. So I'm just going to grab the rules just to make sure I don't mess up anything in switching to the age of, although I pretty, much, I pretty much know what it is. All right, you've just completed the canal period. Remove all canals and all level one tech industry counters along with any cubes on them. So all our canals are now gone. Now, Jen, I used to be really bugged by this because all the work we put into this, and it, you know, it's all for naught, but they, they still exist. The money we were making by, from these canals, we're gonna continue making that money. It's just that we're taking them off the board because technology's moved on and nobody cares about canals anymore. So all these canals go away. Um, let's see. There goes my canals. All right, all the canals go away. Any level one technology still on the board go away. Oh wait, oh no, wait, no, I'm sorry. Before we do that, first of all, we score, right? We score before we do anything. So, I haven't taken anything off the board yet. So it's time to score and basically we just look at what we got. I've got five, 10, oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm buried. Five, and these haven't flipped yet. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. In the first year, I take my little top hat now and I put it over here, because this does not indicate income, I don't care about that. This indicates score. I have scored 17 points in the first year. Let me double check that. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, um, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Whoops. All righty, triple check. 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, um, 12, 17. Now I'm back to 17. Oh, four times a charm. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. Okay, 17, I don't know where I got 19. Silly me, I must have read one of Jen's purples. All right, so I've scored 17. Jen has scored 10, this isn't flipped, 15, 16, 17, um, 22, 29. So Jen did much, much better than me in score in the first year. I'm making more money than her, but she has more coal on the board, which will be very important in the second, and she's made more points because she's flipped more stuff. And it really, it was this damn boat. And now here's the thing. Now we take off all the level one stuff. So, um, oh, actually, I'm sorry, I lied. She isn't gonna score the boat twice. So here's level one, that goes away, it's just removed. Level two, level two, level two, two. This, this port is done, it gets removed, and now there's room to build another port here. Now, this port still exists, the, the money it's made me is still being earned, but that, this little port, nobody cares about it in the era of steam. This little port, nobody cares about it. Twos, 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 there's a three, there's a three, and this ship goes away. Now, what I was gonna say is, if this had been a level two, it would stay, and it would score again at the end of, because now, all of these things that scored, they are gonna score a second time.
So right now, at the end of the rail era, Jen's going to score 7, um, 17, 18, 19, and I'm going to score, well, none of my, or uh, 10. So Jen's got 19 already scored for the next, at the, at the end of the game, and I've got 10 for the end of the game. So, things are not looking good for me. Jen's Gambit seems to have paid off, although, I don't know, it's anybody's guess. The main thing is, I am earning $2 more a day than Jen. Will that be enough to turn it around? I don't know. But, so, the, the board is now set for the second era. We've cleared everything off. Can our counters return? Do not reduce the income level of new counter. Shuffle all the distant marker uh, tiles together. All right, so um, basically, you know, we only ever did, I think went to one. So we basically just reshuffle this, blah, blah, blah. We should reshuffle all the cards, basically. Ah. Including the ones we had left out in the first year. And you know, with more players, there's a different number of cards. You might leave cards out again and all that. So we shuffle and, um, right. Shuffle the distant marker together and make a fresh track. Uh, move the cotton demand marker. Sorry, the cotton mat from overseas is way back up at the top. Shuffle all the distant, yeah. Now start the rail period. Note that you play two cards. Don't forget to remove cards from the deck. Alrighty, so we reshuffle all the cards. We're gonna get eight cards again, and then the whole thing starts over. Everything you just saw, the rail era plays exactly the same way. We're, but you'll notice there are no links, there are no connections to anything. Because in this era, nobody cares about all those canals. If we don't start building some rail lines, we can't ship things, we can't move stuff around. And Building rails is a little bit more costly than it was to build canals. So we each get eight. One, two, three. Sorry, I should have done this before I picked the camera back up. Five, six, seven, eight. Oop, all right, so Jen's got her starting hand. I've got my starting hand. Okay, and, oh, uh, let's see. Jen spent last money, or, Yep, I spent, I spent $1 more than her, so she'll be first again. Ouch. Oh, and there's no longer a canal from Scotland and Lancashire, not that we used it. And so Jen gets to go, she gets to play two actions like always, and now we can start building rail. Now we ignore all these canals. If Jen wants to ship, well, I mean, there, there's no coal on this, but um, because she filled out in, in the first one, but she's gonna score two more points on it. She wants to start moving this coal anywhere, she needs to start building rails. To build rails, you need coal. Uh, see, because if you look on the on the back of all our canals was rails. Now we're building rails. A rail costs one coal and five bucks. Or if you ever want to, you can spend fifteen bucks and build two rails in one turn. Which sounds like a lot, but towards the end of the game, you start doing that as well, so you can make even bigger moves. So if I want to ship this stuff off to Yorkshire, I need to get I need two. Well, first of all, I need to connect my I need to build a rail from Blackburn here so that I can get my coal over here to build the rails here so that I can then ship this off to Yorkshire and you know, increase my income by another four, as an example. And, uh, and, and so on. And you know, the whole thing starts over. Oh, actually, I, I lied. Okay, so there's two places we're gonna be able to build boats if we wanna get the big bonus point thing. I think I'm definitely gonna have to do that. I am gonna have to make it my goal in life to build a ship maybe two to make up for that 10 point discrepancy that Jen got from building her ship, which is what we're basically looking at right here, 17 to 29. That's that ship, that one ship. So if I build a ship, I can minimize that and I'm still doing okay. Thing, it's, not the, it's not the end of the world, but I'm just gonna have to play smart. And otherwise, okay, everything is still looks like the same. It's at 53 minutes. I'm not actually gonna play the rails, but I did wanna get this far enough so I could show what happens and how the game changes and now how the stakes are super high. I'm now making eight bucks a turn, Jen is making six, and uh, Jen's got a couple more bucks than me, or actually just one more buck than me, and everything costs more to build, it's gonna be harder, there's a lot of coal, Jen controls most of it, I've got a little bit of it, I'm gonna use my own coal for this, Jen is going to, I think Jen's gonna get into the iron business, because as we get deeper, we need more and more iron. As soon as somebody builds an iron, boom, they get a ton of money from the foreign market. The instant somebody builds iron. And Jen gets to go first, she's probably, that's the first thing she's gonna do. Did she get something that would let her build iron? 
Um, all right, well, her income, of course, she gets six bucks. Um, and my income, I get eight. So I'm sitting on 30 bucks, and Jen's sitting on 24 bucks. Let's see. So yeah, she's got, an, she's got two ironmongery things. And now we can build this iron in Blackburn. We can build as much stuff as we want in Manchester. So there's one, two, three places to put down iron spots. First one to do it is gonna get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bucks. I guarantee you, Jen is gonna build an iron right here in Blackburn. That's her first move, she's gonna give her 14 bucks. Again, very, very convenient to be the first player. You do have to pay attention because, you know, ah, anyway, so she's gonna get that. Here's another thing that happens as well. Say Jen, or say Jen didn't, say I built an iron. Right, say I'd actually upgrade it, because right now I can't build a level one iron because we're not in the canal. So I'd have to upgrade to even build an iron. And then say I built this iron. And yay, I, well, I'd get four. I'd get four, I'd fill almost all these spaces back. Jen, and then later on this empties, Jen can come along and build her level four iron on top of my empty level two iron. Once a thing is empty, it can be built over by a higher level thing. So there's that as well. So you know, even though there's limited spaces, there's still the opportunity. I mean, yeah, so you could build all the ships. You could build a, I could build my level one ship and then Jen could build a level two ship on top of it. Then I might build a level three ship on top of that. So there's still a lot of excitement in the second half of Brass. Okay, I think you guys have seen most everything. I'm sure I've made a few mistakes. Sorry, Brass experts, if I didn't really play particularly smart. Oh my gosh, this has been murder. And it's now six o'clock. I started this at noon. Oh my gosh, okay, I actually had to make, I made several errors, I've had to restart several times. Hopefully this is 90% good though, because I'm wasted and I gotta get to final thoughts, because I'm hungry for dinner. I skipped lunch altogether. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, you can go to final thoughts in five, four, three, two, one. Thanks.